This is TJ. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly download and install the free and open source program Scribus on your Windows computer. I'm using Windows 8. These instructions will also work on Windows 7 and Windows XP. First thing we need to do is open up an internet browser. I'll be using Firefox for this example. You could also use Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Now, I'm going to use Google to search. You can use your favorite search engine, but we'll just go to download. What are we doing? Scribus. And then push enter or click the search button. So for me, it turns out the, search, the first result is scribus.net that comes up. So I'm going to click on scribus.net. And then I'll click this link here, download. And then this takes us to the, the page where we can find the download link. So we have all these different options. Now, if you're not sure what, if you have a 64 or 32-bit, then click the 32-bit download. If you have a faster, newer computer, you can do 64-bit. Um, and if you're downloading for other things like Macintosh or Linux, there's some other options. But for Windows, we'll just do the 32-bit. Actually, no. I have a 64-bit, so I'm going to do that. But if, you, if you're not sure, do 32. If you bought your computer in the last, I'd say, three years, four years, you probably have a 64-bit processor. So this will automatically start the download. When this pops up, we'll click Save File. Then it starts our down our downloads are shown here in the top left corner, top right corner. I'm sorry, in Firefox. Um, if you're using Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, they're going to be at the bottom. It shows you your down that what the progress of your downloads. So I'll left click on this and see how it's going. It's 82.1 megabytes, so it's uh, decent size, not massive. Depending on your internet connection, it might be faster or slower, um, the download. And we'll just wait till this is done. Okay, now our download is complete, so we just need to open the program. If you're curious, it, the place it downloaded, if you go to your file manager, it's under downloads is where all of your downloads are so you, you know you have pictures your videos your music well there's also something called downloads a folder so you can look at your downloads and get to it there so we just downloaded it here it is scribus 1.44 or we can just click on the actual thing in the browser so i'll just i'll click that this will start the installer now that chime you heard was windows security just saying are you sure you want to run tr do you trust this program to run on your computer because you can also download malicious software and spyware and viruses and things. So it's always good to trust. The th I trust SourceForge. Anything from them, I, I trust. I have never, actually, I don't think I've ever installed a virus on my computer. So you just kind of got to be careful and know the source you're, you're downloading from. But SourceForge is, is, a, is a trusted place to download from. So now we're starting. Like, we can minimize the web browser because now we're just doing the installer. So click OK. Click Next, click I Accept, this is the license, and then we'll install all of This says do you want to create a desktop shortcut, do you want to put it a uh, shortcut for all users and install additional fonts, yes I'll do all that. So we'll just, this says where do you want to install it on the computer. It's best to install it in program files I think, and that's where it does it automatically. And then what does this say? This is the name of the folder on Start Menu, so yes, that's fine. Now we just wait for it to install. Okay, and now we're finished with the installation. So I don't need to view this, the readme file, so I'll uncheck this box, and we'll go ahead and run it. Or I'll uncheck that box too and just click finish, and then we can run it from here. So now it's installed, it created a desktop icon. It's also installed in our, if we push the Windows key on Windows 8, we can see it's installed on our um, installed um, programs or click the start button on Windows 7 or Windows XP to find it under your start menu. There you have it. So we'll open up Scribus and take a look. Just make sure it's installed properly and you can start going away with your desktop publishing. You can make books, calendars, restaurant menus, billboards, all kinds of stuff. Scribus is a very full featured um, professional tool for desktop publishing. Um, and uh, I would recommend it. So this just says GhostScript is missing. So, oh yeah, I forgot to say that. So where we installed this, we actually had the option, if we click back and go back to SourceForge, click back twice, where was it? 
we can install GhostScript. It's, it's one of the recommended ones. So if we click here, or you can search install, you can search download GhostScript. It's a good thing too. So we'll just click download. And um, so this will install GhostScript. So if you go to sourceforge.net and search GhostScript, it, this is how you will get to it. And we'll save the file. So this will just help things run better and more smoothly on uh, script. So you can do some more research about it if you're curious of what it exactly is doing. Um, and a new document, but uh, yeah. So that way we can go and and this will just show you how to do GhostScript. Where's it at? So it's downloading here. And once that is finished downloading, then we'll have to do the same thing. We'll just install it. It's a see .exe, so it's an executable file. So we'll. Click yes, next, I agree. We'll install it here. And we will have GhostScript installed on this computer. And then, then it'll work in conjunction with um, with Scribus. So there you go. Appreciate you watching this video. Um, check out my other videos at tjfree.com or here on YouTube. And I hope you have a wonderful day.